Hello all. Back in the workshop today doing part two of the crankshaft video. Just milling out the brass straps which go around the crank webs and secure the counterweights in place. As you can see I'm just taking a slither off a brass plate with a 6mm cutter pretty much. I've made two of the straps already and it's just a simple job of placing them in the vise and bending them round with a clamp across there. I have the four straps made now and the fourth one is there. I'm just in the process of soldering these M4 stud in onto the end which goes through the counterweight and bolts them on. Here we have one disc of steel. I've machined that to the same thickness as the crankshaft webs. These are obviously going to be the counterweights. I can only get two out of one disc because they're 110 degrees each, so there's the second one turning down now. As you can see, it's a hell of a lot of uh, material I need to remove, but at least I can give myself a new wig now. Here we have two of the crankshaft counterweights milled out to 110 degrees. As you can see, milled out of those two discs. Here we have three of the counterweights for the crankshaft completed. Uh, I need to do counterbores in these for the nuts to go inside, but all in all they've come out really nice and fitting really well. Pretty much what I'm doing now is drilling the hole that goes through it for the studding on the strap. It's just a simple job of spotting and drilling through really. Just a quick word on these straps. I was once told that you can't actually silver solder stainless steel. But this M4 studding that I've got isn't magnetic and I've left it out in the rain for a fair old while, a week now, just to check. And it hasn't rusted, so I assume it's stainless steel. And as you can see, the silver solder on it took very well. It's even gone right into the threads up here. So maybe the man that told me that was wrong or... I don't know. If anyone else has got any ideas as why that's taken so well, let me know in the comments. This is actually the last counterweight that I've got to do the counterbore on. Just thought I'd uh, show how I'm lining it up, just with the back of the drill bit. Nice and easy. If anyone's noticed, but I uh, usually only show the last one of something that I do. It's generally because then, if I fucked up a previous one, I don't look like an absolute idiot on camera. usually best to do it's usually best to do a drill chuck up with two hands usually works better as you'll see this is a pretty messy operation I'm rather loud so I'll zero that there I don't actually own any counterbore drills or anything, so I'm just using a slot drill for this.
they used to say on Blue Peter. Here's one I did earlier. Was it Art Attack? Can't remember. Those shows even still running? I don't know. But yeah, it's come out really quite nice. I've already put the other three on. I'll show you what it looks like when I've put this on. So, does anyone want to crank my shaft? Probably not, but... As you can see, the counterboards came out very nice. I've cut all the stud into length and just uh, put nuts on lightly. Now the keen eyed of you will notice that I haven't yet taken the centers out, which I'm going to do promptly. And also I'm going to clean some of the knocks and notches up that have come on the brass and the tops are there, you can see. So I'm going to get on doing that. Why are you go and, uh, well, I don't know, go and have a cup of tea. Yeah. I'm very happy with how this crankshaft has turned out, actually. I haven't done the keys yet, because I'm going to wait for a future video, maybe when I start making the gears to do these. The nuts in here I'm going to replace with Nylox on final build. And I guess the proof will be in the pudding, whether it's any good when we put the whole engine together. I guess that'll be in a few years' time, but hey-ho, plenty to do in the meantime. Next video will be starting on the horn plates, guys, so keep looking out for more videos. See you later.